Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Building a Nation with Polonia Vorsova. And my goodness, is this nation being thrown up like scaffolding in the best possible way. It's going up like one of them skyscrapers at the moment. So invest in the Polonia housing market right about now, because we going big, boys. I never thought I'd find myself following the results of a fourth tier football side from Poland. Well... I don't know if anyone else has had this too, but I had this for Stockport, and a lot of you did as well, I know. The, the notifications on your phone, have they started yet? Because they have started for me. I've started getting match updates about Polonia games on my phone, thanks to Google, because it knows. And if you're not already getting them, watch a couple more episodes, and you probably will start getting them. So enjoy that. Unfortunately, I think Polonia actually lost against Ursus at the weekend, which I think kind of put them out of the promotion hunt, which is a real shame for them. It was a legia race to the top, but Polonia came out on top. That that really was awful, and you should... It was bad, and you should feel bad. But thanks for trying. Now, um, originally I was only going to do one game off camera, but I just had a bit of extra time at the moment. It's only like two o'clock, so I decided to do two games off camera, but we're still going to come back, do a double live comp today. Now, the reason I've started on the page of Jan Peltz is because, as we all know, Peltzy got himself sent off in the last match with that weird glitch in it. Now, I talked to Football Manager about this, and I'm sending them the PKM file so they can have a look at it and try and figure out what's going on. However, I think I know what happened. Just a theory, but hear me out here. So, Peltz was sent off in this match in the, 30, 30, in, that, uh, in the 35th minute. They then got an injury in the 60th minute. Now, I made a substitution to replace, um, to move some stuff around after Peltz was red carded. What I think has happened somehow, I don't know how, is that the game has considered them to have got a red card, but it hasn't taken effect until they've made that tried to make a substitute. So they've brought him off, and then it's just sort of considered that to be a red card in some way, and they weren't been allowed to bring a sub on. I don't know why, but the reason I think that is because I got into the next game to play, and I, I got started playing it, and I realised Jan Peltz was in the team, and I was like, well, hang on a minute, why is he in the team? Shouldn't he be suspended if he got two yellow cards and got a red? And I looked in the rules, and as far as I can tell, that should be a one-match ban, but he played, and I was like, uh, okay? So I think in some way, it somehow attributed his red card to their injured player in some weird glitch. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of as to what's happened there, as to why Jan Peltz... Like, it still says Peltz got a red card, uh, as you can see here, but it didn't give him a suspension. So I've taken it upon myself to suspend him for three matches. Um, I know he would have only got a one match ban, but I've decided to suspend him for three matches. So he didn't play the last match and he's not going to play in either of today's live comms. Um, not really punishing you individually, Jan. I'm just trying to find some way to uh, compensate for what's happened there. So he's been given a club enforced three match ban. Um, let's just pretend the Polish FA made a mistake and I've had to take it upon myself to see the order is restored because I I'm not going to have an unfair advantage like that. I mean, I know we did, but yeah, I'm going to try and find some way to reconcile that. So a three-match ban for Jan Peltz is what we've got. Two games off camera. Let's get going. So first up, we were away at Pogan, and we got another victory. And who was at the forefront of that victory? Of course, it was Christian Piacciaro with two more goals for the season. We're getting a lot of penalties lately. Um, almost more than last year, but Piacciaro is just dispatching them. But it wasn't like they were all pens. We took the lead on the 37th minute. The ball was laid into Piacciaro, and he just smashed it home for yet another goal this year. He is on for one a hell of a season if he keeps on playing like this. Best form of his career. Career, I think, but he then did add a penalty just before half time to give us a 2 0 victory, uh, 2 0 lead rather. Unfortunately, Maslanka made a little bit of a mistake in this match, um, and the ball was played in behind him, and uh, Wojciewicz went through and smashed them back into the match, but they weren't really able to do anything else after that. Um, all their shots were from range aside from that, and they only had one shot on target. We ground out yet another great victory, but again, the clean sheet, and that's like five in a row now without getting a clean sheet, but at least we're scoring two in all of them. And that pattern basically continued in our next match at home to Rook. Another victory, 2 1. Again, we love a good 2-1. Uh, thank God we've got a second goal in us in a lot of these matches because we just have this ability to concede a really bad one. And I think it's the penalties that are really doing our job for us at the moment. We took the lead very early on here. Wonderful ball, ball whipped in. And there was Marcin Klushka to give us the lead, filling in today for Jan Peltz, who, of course, is not on the uh, in the squad at all for these matches. And neither will he be for today's live comms. I've decided. I'm sorry, Jan, it's not your fault, but you know. They then did uh, get a goal back, unfortunately. Ball out on the left-hand side, whipped across. Defenders did not handle this well. And uh, Vudovic was able to just smash it into the bottom corner. Uh, for 1-1. One, one. Disappointing, because we've been completely dominant in this one. Loads of possession. Thankfully, though, we managed to do what we've done lately, win another penalty, and there was Piacciaro to dispatch it for 2-1, and I think that's his ninth goal in eight matches this season. Nine goals in eight games is phenomenal. I think he has actually now scored in every single game that he has started for us this year. Um, the only game he didn't score in, I think, was the one that he missed through injury. That's literally all. He's been amazing. And that's left the league looking like this. We are still top, but Scra are very, very tight on us now. Um, we're seven points above the promotion spots right now. We are flying in this division. And honestly, I know we're only eight games in, but I'm finding it very hard to consider us anything other than a promotion 
almost dead cert. Seven points clear after eight matches. I know there's a long way to go and there's a lot of injuries, but the way we're playing, we're just tearing teams apart in this division. Uh, even teams like... Like we've beaten these guys. These We've already beaten these guys 3-0 this year. We've beaten these guys too. Like We are just tearing teams limb from limb. And Piacara with nine goals already this season. Um, he got, what, 17 last season? I think he could get probably like 25 this year. And if he does, then he's my bloody hero. And that's what I intend for us to do away at Stomil, who are down in 13th in the league. So you think we'd be able to do a decent job there. Uh, our main rivals are also playing a team in the relegation zone. So it's a good chance for both of us to rack up yet another victory. But it's going to be tough still. We've got a few injuries. Malik's out, Zmuda's out, Zabrowski's out, Vietrakovsky's out. Um, a lot of them wouldn't have played anyway, but still, they're out. Also had some more bids for Conrad Kaslik, who did get a bit annoyed at me because I wouldn't let him join Visla. But eventually I told him about the social groups and he was like, nah, I'm, I'm cool to stay. So he's fine and he's been doing a decent job at centre-back for us this season. So with the fact that Pelts can't play, I think this is basically going to be our lineup. We're going to rely on the under-21s of uh, Yakshik and Zubek to get this team going at the moment. Uh, is Swamka, are we able to bring? Yes, we are. Uh, Gavatiliani is back in again. He had a really good game uh, in the last live com actually, against Photo Hygienia. Um, so he's certainly coming into his own a little bit in that role now. So we'll bring him back in. Everybody else, I'm totally happy to keep in the team, though. Change the bench around a little bit, though. Make sure we've got the right players there. Hebda's been getting a few substitute appearances as well lately. Uh, so Hebda, Yazjak, Swamka, Barbas, Koshinevsky, Pelts. No, he can't play. And, of course, Michael Gora, but not Michael, Mateus Gora. I'm going to bring in um, Kobera in there too, but Pelts won't even be allowed to be in the squad for over today. So it's the best I can really do uh, to try and rectify the issue there. Had I saved before, I might have just been tempted to replay it because... I didn't want to do that, but I literally couldn't because I would have lost all of my work. I'm also trying to make the most of being able to move through the seasons a bit faster at this point because we've got a bit more time and the game is running faster at the moment so I can get in between matches a bit faster so I can do a little bit more off camera often, but I had to record three videos today. Um, so it's, I've had to squash it, but even so, you've still had some decent amount of off camera matches. So let's have this. Can we... Oh, and I also changed set piece takers. Only a little bit because most of them didn't really require much, but I have tweaked it a bit. So can we grab another victory? Can we stay unbeaten after nine matches in the new division as a newly promoted side? Oh, he's gone past one. Can he dig a cross out? No, he can't. He's showing some real promise, though, I've got to say. And the reason he missed the last game is because he got an international call up for Georgia. Playing in the third tier of Polish football, and he's just been called up for the Georgian national team. He didn't get an appearance, thank God, uh, because I have a clause in his contract that means he'd get £350 a week if he gets called up for the national team. Oh, and he's through, and it's a great strike. And uh, yeah, that was actually a... a a chance for us there. Nice interception. Really top work there. Uh, Pachara's in the team. He's scored in every single league game that he's played this year. Can he make it, uh, what would that be, eight out of eight? Wisniewski slips it through the channel. Klusch goes in. Oh, <laughs> that is so good. Lovely, lovely work. Wisniewski's picking up a few assists this year. Last year he got a few, but I've seen him get quite a lot this season already. Pachara does nicely. Slips it inside for Wisniewski. They're not quite sure what to do. They just get drawn out. He's able to knock it into the channel. Klusch got one touch. Thump. Considering, you know, I actually rate Klushka higher than Jan Peltz, and you can see why. He just scores goals. Oh, knocking it through. Great tip round the side for Tobiash. I want a clean sheet for him today. He's bloody jinxed it, he has. He's bloody jinxed it. What's Pichara? Potential knee injury. Oh, no. This feels like one of those five or six weakers. Oh, God. That's the last thing we need right now is an injury to literally the best performing player on this entire team. Gora's going to have to step in. I hope that isn't a serious one. Because if that keeps him out for a while, I think we might struggle. Maslanka's ball. Gora's header puts it wide. I think he was offside. No, he wasn't. Well, there you go. So, yes, our main rivals have, in fact, scored an own goal. So they're up there now with us still two points behind. But the thing is, we don't need to finish above them. If they want to somehow stretch their legs and go past us, then they're more than welcome to it. We've not been that great in this game at all. Honestly, just lots of the ball. And it's finally a game that Piachara hasn't scored a goal in. Hopefully we can just see this game out, really. If we have to win 1-0, I would take that just because it would mean we'd actually get a clean sheet. And we've not had one of those for a little while. And I actually just want to see us being a little bit stronger defensively. It's only been the odd goal. I don't think we've scored... We've only conceded more than once in one match. Uh, but I do want to make sure that we don't make that a habit of conceding poor goals, you know? This game's kind of gone a bit dead, frankly. Uh, we've got the lead, which is great. But we don't really seem to be... Oh! Oh, what a, t what a top save. Gora should be scoring there. And I kind of feel like Piachara probably would have put that in. And therein lies the difference between the two. We're playing well, but we need that second goal. Ball in. All cleared away. And oh, Vishniewski's strike. Classic him. And he couldn't quite put it in. And maybe also Cabrera on for Colbon. Just to really freshen some legs up. Make all those subs. Bit early for them, for us to do that, maybe. Because, you know, injuries and whatnot. We're likely to get... Oh, my God. Yaksik very nearly put through his own net. Well, I mean, a say all the teams do. But they, in fact, haven't had a highlight since then. Looks like we are going to just nick it 1-0 here. Not the perfect performance by any stretch. And Kasalik... Oh, what a save at the end there. We should have made it too. It doesn't matter. That's going to be our win. And there we go. Full time. Sturmil nil. 
Polonia Volsovol won. A bit of a tight one. Um, what did our rivals do? They won 2-0 in the end, but their opponents had a red card. So we still keep on going on at the top, which is the main thing. We're still two points clear. We go nine points clear now of Jake at uh, GKS. This is brilliant. But now the big injury is Pichara. Let's see. Pichara injured. Twisted knee, two to four days. Come on. That's probably about the best possible scenario. Right. See you guys in a minute. Right then, guys, we are back at home to Motor. But it looks like they might play a 4-4-1-1. So we might have to try ourselves out with the one without that bit. See if that works today. Um, our main rivals at the top, though, are playing away at 8th place. So there might be an opportunity to extend if we could win yet another game. Also, apparently, according to the thing, we've just set a new club unbeaten record. That last result gave us an 18-match unbeaten run. I totally forgot about the fact that we did all the end of last season, too. So to go 18 matches unbeaten in the league is absolutely fantastic. We're still not lost in this league yet. It will happen, of course. Probably loads of times. Um, but the fact that we've got off to such a great start is, is just brilliant. So let's get into things today. Unfortunately, slight problem. Uh, there was an injury to Cavataliani in um, training and he's going to be out for five weeks. So we're really lacking in that position right now. I think uh, Swamka will have to play because we we're really struggling there. Thankfully, though, it's not a position that we've got an issue with the old uh, under-21 problem there. So Swamka can come in. He's done all right. He looked poor in his first appearance, but he's been decent since then. Um, I'm probably just going to go with the same lineup in all honesty. Pichara is back fit just about. And, of course, uh, Peltz can't play at all today. This will be the last match of his club-enforced suspension. So that's fine. Um, obviously, we're moving the Fatali uh, Fataliani out of there. Why am I struggling with his name? Kvantaliani. It's not that difficult. So we're going to go with Hebda, Niborski, Yaziak, Barbas, Kochinevsky, Priborovsky, Gora. Okay, let's go. Let's have a look at the opposition reports. Yes, yeah, this is what I'm worried about. We're at home. We've won every home game so far this season. Let's just keep going. Quick side note as well. Um, our under our B team are now the ones playing in that local Polish Cup, and they're absolutely walloping teams. They've had one 4 0 and a 6 1 win as well. So they're definitely doing a good job there. Swamka's ball across. Cleared away. Zavshikrai cleared away again good start for us but got to be careful here it's one on one we're not getting a lot of players back very quickly here uh, someone could cover that and that's actually really good work from Zubek to get back a cover just uh don't trust the keeper eh? <laughs> other quick note is the fact that i was manager of the month they actually do one of those in this league and zav should cry good save something else i've noticed is that we're scoring a lot fewer goals from set pieces this year there's a lot more open play stuff happening and that's actually making me think that this is even more I'm really enjoying it even more. So we're not having to rely on set pieces. We're scoring quite a few open play goals. Not even from like throw-ins and stuff. We're just scoring good goals. Maslanka, Vishniewski, options for days. Zavshikrai, Pichara. Look at the overlap. He's got... Oh, nice one. Nice goal. Nice, nice idea. Yeah, sort of a typical game against a 4-4-2. We're dominating, just not quite carving out as many opportunities as I might like. We did have that one chance though and maybe should be in the lead. Okay, time to make a sub. Uh, I would love to bring someone on for Swamka, but... Yeah, screw it. We'll bring Gora on out there. See what he can do. Yaksik has also had a poor day, but I don't know if I can... No. Unless I bring... No. <laughs> no. That's not a thing that can happen, unfortunately. I might try... No. I might just throw it on attacking for the final 15 minutes. See if we can't grind ourselves that late winner that we need at the moment. Pichara. Gora. Can he whip a cross in? He does. Oh, it's... Oh, Klushka has to score there. He has to. Just a little bit poor from the creative side of things. And maybe dropping Jan Peltz out, the team has had some contribution to that. But I don't really mind. We're still going to be nine points clear at the top of the league and three points above um, Skla. So it's not the end of the world, is it? Maslanka. We were bound to drop some points eventually. We're still going to stay unbeaten. 19 matches overall unbeaten. And our first 10 in the new league unbeaten. We're the only unbeaten team left in this division. Like, I still think we're playing some fantastic football at the moment. Only conceded six goals this season, which is by far the best. Oh, actually, no. Radiomac, interestingly. Um, sorry, Radio Mayak. Interestingly, the team that um, came back from 2-0 down against us earlier this year also have a very good defence, which is surprising considering how easily we went through them twice. But there you go. God damn, that, that felt very short, frankly. But then 10 games into the new season, we're unbeaten and we've won eight of them. I mean, we can't really ask for much more than that from the lads. 26 points on the board. Um, top scorer in the division with nine goals in 10 matches. And he's not even played 10 matches. I think he's played eight and a half. Now, I would come back and do the Skrat game, but then there's very little off camera, and I'd rather give you guys a, a much bigger chunk since we're trying to get through this season a bit faster. So we're going to come back and do... That would be quite a tough one. I want to show you to har the harder games. So we'll do, yeah, we'll do five matches off camera this time to give us a nice chunk so we can really get going and come back from match day 16 at home... Uh, sorry, away against GKS uh, Buchatov. Uh, I'm guessing Buchatov. That's, that's my closest bet on that one. So yeah, that's going to be in the next episode. I'm sorry if this one's come up a bit short. Um, the games have been quite... Yeah, there's not been a lot of goals. It's the first matches this season that we haven't scored more than one goal in both of them, in fact. But we've still taken four points. And hey, I just feel like once we get Peltsy back next episode, things will start picking up again. Not that they've really fallen off at all. So if you've enjoyed this episode, and I really hope you have, um, I hope you've 
accepted the remedy I came up with for the whole weird red card thing. Maybe maybe second yellow cards don't get you a don't get you a ban, and I've just done that for no reason. Um, but hey, if so, then so what? Um, anyway, if you've enjoyed it, drop a like. That'd be fantastic. If you're new to the channel, hit that big old subscribe button, and I'll join you guys in the next episode for a pretty solid game away at a pretty tough team in the playoffs. Let's see if we can get through that. We've got that away match as well against Sklath. That could be huge. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.